So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Taurus. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Let's see, what do we have for Taurus? So you have the Seven of Swords. And then the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody is trying to figure out a way to um, scam someone. It's like they're trying to get some type of um, inheritance or something that somebody have like set a set in stone or, or a stable foundation that they have for their self. Maybe they're trying to attach their self to this person. Maybe they're trying to steal a lump sum of money or something like that. You have the moon. So this is something that someone is like planning in secret. Or they plan in secret. You have the page of swords. It's like they could be, you know, very curious about how that person is in the Ten of Pentacles or um, how did they become um, so stable. And they've been spying on that person. You have the Tower. And then the Sun. So a lot came out. If this person was trying to set up another person and they've been watching that person, spying on that person and they had a hidden motive... It's like it came out. It was exposed. Everything was illuminated. You have the Queen of Cups and then the Strength card is here. So it's like they were watching whoever this Queen of Cups is and they see this person as someone that is very shy. Maybe they feel like that person is very loving, very caring. And um, this person is someone that's easy to be able to manipulate or confuse or something like that. Um, they could have seen this person as someone that's very naive because they're, they're, this is someone that's very nurturing. And people that are very kind-hearted, very nurturing, very loving, um, very supportive, very generous, these are the type of people that will typically get used, get scammed, and different things like that. So somebody thought that just because this person was this, you know, this type of person, you know, this queen of cups, they would be able to scam this person, scheme this person, deceive this person, steal from this person, set this person up or something like that. But whoever this queen of cups is, they're very intuitive. This could be a psychic. And that person is someone with the strength card being here. It's like that person is someone that is very strong. So it's like they took someone, someone... They were on the outside looking in. Like somebody judged a book by its cover. And it's like this person is someone that's very strong. And they took out the time to put whatever they were given out into their self. It doesn't mean that that person stopped being loving, very caring, very kind, but they just started using their intuition more, started pouring a lot of whatever they were giving out into their self if they weren't receiving anything back. So it has that person in the energy of being um, very courageous, you know, having control over their emotions and how they tolerate different people. Yeah. This person is very focused it's like whoever was watching this person, they didn't realize how strong that person is. They thought this person was weak. Like weak-minded. You have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. And then the Three of Swords. So somebody could have been attached to another person and they didn't want that person to walk away. Or this is someone who did not want this Queen of Cups to walk away. But they didn't want another person to walk away. So they felt like if they could scam whoever this Queen of Cups is... Try to figure out how could they get 
some type of big lump sum of money out of this person, steal from this person, they could stay attached to another person and that would hold them. They're hurt because whoever the person is that they did not want to walk away, they've separated, removed that person from their life. If they found out that this person was someone that was trying to scam, someone that was innocent, this person is, you know, very kind hearted, they're minding their business. This is why they walked away because all of this was exposed to them. And it's like, this is their karma with judgment being here. You have the Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, and then the Star. So it's like whoever this person is, it's like they've pushed this person to have some type of emotion for that person. Yeah, this could be someone that, that fell in love with someone that was, um, that they, they found out another person was trying to scam or steal something from, cause some type of deception. And they thought that they were going to get away with it because whoever this person is, this someone had been, you know, watching this person and they thought it was sweet. Oh, I'm so done. You have the Five of Swords. This is someone that is highly intimidated of this Queen of Cups. This person is someone that's very creative. That person is very inspirational. This could be a healer. This person could be helping other people get spiritually woke. And that person pours out unconditional love to people. They started some type of new beginning or something like that. And it's like that person appreciates their self. They love their self. And another person was just envious of this. It's like somebody was watching another person. They wanted to try to scam scheme how they could be like that person or steal from that person get in that person's energy and leave that person in their energy you have the will of fortune so they're envious and jealous because this person is someone that has good luck that person is in their purpose with the the temperance being on the bottom of the deck this is definitely someone that is walking in their purpose they keep their self very grounded very balanced out they're patient with whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah. You have the death card. Yeah, something came to a complete end. It's like they've watched this person go through some type of spiritual transformation. Start a new beginning. They've ended the cycle out and they've moved forward. This is definitely someone that's single. And this could be you. You could be someone that's single, self-sufficient. You could be celibate. You're someone that is, you know, just focusing on you right now. Focusing on your own um, success. Focusing on building something for yourself. And it's like somebody was sitting back watching and they just thought it was sweet. You were an easy target or something like that. And this backfired. Like whoever they were thinking that they were going to do this for, to hold on to, to get that person to... Um, admire them or look at them a certain way or um, not have that person in the energy of wanting to move on or disconnect from them, that person still ended up moving on because they found out how deceptive this person was. And it's like this person is looking at you as someone that, that pours out unconditional love to people. So yeah, this just made another person realize that they needed to end something out with someone that they were attached to. It's like as soon as that person started plotting and scheming on how to uh, create some type of tower for you and um, steal something from you or something like that, do something underhanded, this is what created a tower for them. When they started trying to like play in your energy behind the scenes. Or set something up. Unrequited love. So somebody was in a relationship where the love was unrequited. They weren't attracted to that person. They don't have any chemistry with that person. It was nothing there to keep the relationship going. So that person felt like if they could scheme, scam, you know, try to do uh, do something to deceive you or take something for you, from you or set you up, this would keep that person from walking away from them. It made that person walk away. After they realized this is why this person was um, spying on you, watching you, different things like that. 
And it's like whoever this person is, this is someone that is watching you as wish fulfillment. The person that is walking away from whoever this energy is that was in the Seven of Swords. You have deception, yeah. They look at that person as someone that's very deceptive. This is someone that wore a mask. Now, they could have made it seem like they were watching you for a totally different reason. But the entire time, this person had a hidden motive with the moon, ten of pentacles, and the seven of swords. They were plotting and scheming. This is someone that is going through some type of financial lacks with finances and career. And this is the type of person that would do anything deceptive to anybody. To make their self feel good. To um, make people think that they are... This is someone who just does not want to work. They plot and scheme on other people out of envy, out of jealousy, and they want what other people have. And they're always going through some type of financial issue. You have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So this is someone who knew that this person is your true love and they didn't want that person to walk away from them and come towards you. So they feel like if they can plot and scheme on you, take something from you, steal something from you, that person will stay attached to them. I'm so done. This is sad. You have honeymoon. It's like somebody feel like or felt like they could hold a person hostage with material things, tangible things, different things like that. And this would make this person be confused about what true love really is. They will be confused about going towards new love. Whatever they did, it only pushed that person to want to come towards new love. Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. It's like you've stirred this person's romantic feelings while this person that they were attached to was watching, plotting, and scheming, and wanting to have whatever it is that you have. To try to hold that person up. Yeah, yes, this is your soulmate. So this person is definitely your soulmate. You and that person are already connected in the spiritual realm. There's a lot of chemistry between you and that person. There's a magnetic attraction, a deep bond. And another person knew this. And they just felt like, you know, if they could take whatever you had materially, leave you in their energy, that person would never be able to walk away from them. They thought this person was looking at whatever you had materially. And that's why they were attracted to you. This person is, if this is your soulmate and you're already connected to this person, you have this deep bond with this person spiritually, they're attracted to the energy that you're in physically because they're already connected to you spiritually. I'm so done. It's like somebody is in some type of illusion or something like that. You have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So this could be someone that you're married to. You're this, you know, everything that's going on in the spiritual realm is getting ready to manifest physically. So you could have been married to this person in, in previous lifetimes. And whatever is going on, um, as I say, in the spiritual, it manifests in the physical. It's like somebody knew that you and this person would be coming together. You're this person's true love. And it would, you know, result into you and that person being in a commitment, a marriage. So they were trying to stop it. You have forgiven and learning. So somebody definitely needed to forgive because they didn't know they were learning lessons with whoever that person is. They could have been hurt when they found this out. Like they found out the truth and everything came out and was revealed. This is someone that has to release and heal whatever they went through in the past so that they can experience whatever they truly desire in this present moment. Yeah, it's like a cycle needed to end out. Something needed to close and be over. You have calling in your soulmate. So you're definitely calling this person in. Your prayers, your affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So 
whatever, if you've been praying for that person, praying for this connection, if you know that this person is your soulmate, this is your true love, you've been visualizing that person. You can't stop thinking about that person. They're in that same energy. This is what's helping bringing you and that person together. But somebody definitely needed to learn some type of lesson with whoever they were attached to. You have, you deserve love. You are lovable. And this is how this person is feeling about you. As I said, this only stirred the, 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 the romantic feelings that that person had for you. They feel like you're someone that deserves to be loved. You are lovable. This person looks at you as someone, as I said, as a queen of cups, very mature emotionally, very nurturing, very loving, very kind hearted, very generous. And you're someone that's very loyal. It's like this is the type of energy that you would not be in. You don't sit back, plot, and scheme on other people. You're someone that's very honest. Whatever it is that you have, you get it in an honest way. Another person was jealous of it, intimidated by it, and they felt like they would be able to sabotage a connection, sabotage you, and hold on to this person. This didn't work. Or somebody sat back trying to research curious of how you're making money or something like that trying to add up your pockets because they're in the five of pentacles this is someone who does not want to work they don't want to do things in an honest way they're accustomed to plotting and scheming on people and this is why they're always in the five of pentacles it's like they're attached to some type of financial curse you have date And then mad. So yeah, it's like once they started dating this person, they didn't know this person was a scammer. This person was, um, you know, scheming them. Because they could have that person in the energy where they're going through a lot of financial lags. And they're, they're, they're wanting to hold on to that person. So they feel like, and the only reason why they want to hold on to that person is because they know that you and them have this, this uh, spiritual bond, this spiritual connection, different things like that. It's like something that's in that person's ego that have them in the energy of wanting to try to control something that they can't. And they've sabotaged their self. They've caused the ending. But it's like they could have thought that that person was someone that was in the Ten of Pentacles when they met up, th met up with this person. And it's like once they got attached to that person. Because they were thinking that that person was someone that had a lot. And once they realized this person was someone that did not have much. They started looking into that person's life. They found out about you or they already were looking into this person's uh, life when they met up with this person because they wore a mask. It, they were in the disguise. They found out about you. They started watching you, observing you, and they felt like they would take something from you. And this would hold this person. What they're not realizing is that material things are not the reason why this person is attracted to you. And they have all of this... Um, chemistry for you or this person is in love with you you've uh, stirred their romantic feelings you have hookup yeah this is someone that definitely was like a one night stand and they started casually dating that person they could have did something to get that person to sleep with them with the mask and hookup being here and they didn't know yeah, this is someone they definitely met on social media. That person could be spying, watching you on social media if you are on social media. But they scouted this person out. Maybe they looked at that person like, hey, you know, this person may have material things or this person must have something. Once they got attached to that person and that person did not have what they thought they had, they started plotting and scheming on you. Because they knew that this person was attracted to you. They knew that that person was um, your true love, your soulmate. And this person had been trying to win at all costs with this five of swords to try to sabotage the connection that you have with that person. You have grass is greener. <clears throat> yeah, somebody is definitely jealous because this person looks at you as someone that... Um, it's like a better option for them um, or a better person for them to be in a relationship with. They, they feel like you deserve better. And it's like they've fallen in love with you. 
with romantic feelings being here. And as I said, this is not a this person doesn't love you for what you have. They love you for who you are as a person. You have addiction. Yes, yeah, so like whoever this person is, they could be on drugs bad. Like they have some type of toxic attachment that they're they're obsessed to it. And this is what keeps them in the energy of being broke. You have signs and synchronicities. So this only, like if they hid that they were on drugs or um, had some type of obsession, some type of toxic attachment, that person is seeing all of the signs. Like why is that person always in need of money? Why is that person always, you know, could be coming to them asking for money? They don't have this. They don't have that. They're strung out on some type of drug and they hid it from that person when they first met that person or started dating that person. They just didn't know. But now it's like the universe is showing them all of the signs of who this person truly is to them. Yeah, unexpected. It's like they're shocked. They were shocked to be able to find out that this person was uh, strung out on some type of drug or some type of addiction. Because they weren't able to predict this. Like the person wore a mask. You have player. Yeah, this is someone that's very manipulative. They, they know how to charm people. You know, get people to feel sorry for them or do what they want. And now it's like they're shocked. If they know that you're someone that's very intuitive and you know what's going on behind the scenes, you're definitely someone that is woke. So you're seeing different things. You could be having dreams. You could be, as I say, visualizing different things. And um, if you could be, you, you could also be someone that reads Sarah as well. Or you're just very intuitive, take it where it resonates. That person is stuck in regret. Because like this only exposed who they truly are. A lot of stuff that they did not want to come out came shooting out in ways that they would least expect. And they're shocked. I'm so done. Yeah, this person is stressed out. They didn't expect to get caught. You have toxic relationship. Yeah, somebody found out that somebody was very, like somebody had this toxic attachment. This is why this person was always trying to fight them or trigger them. Um, they were very codependent. So it definitely has that person in the energy of healing. Whatever it is that wounded them dealing with this person. And then you have change. They definitely needed to end something out. Fear is here. This was their worst fear of all of this coming back on them. Divine intervention and fear. Wow. It's like this person did not see any of this coming. They didn't think this person would disconnect from them. They didn't think that it's like this person wanted them to be okay. This also is coming off as if they wanted to keep it hidden that you were that person's true love. You're that person's soulmate. And they wanted that person to be okay with them secretly watching you to try to scheme or scam or take something from you. And it, it, it backfired. That person ended up disconnecting from them, withdrawing from the situation, removing that person from their life. And they didn't expect this. Now it's like that person is wanting to come towards you. Yeah, the butterfly. Somebody have definitely healed their inner child. And this person could have chose to heal or go through a healing process while watching you. Like you're someone that's very inspirational. You could have inspired this person to have the strength and the courage to detach from whoever this energy is. This person looks at you as someone that is in the next phase. Like you've grown through something. You've overcame something with strength being here. You're someone that's very strong, very confident, and you're very focused. You have love call. So somebody is, this is someone expressing how they feel. They can't stop thinking about you and they want to tell you how they feel. You have both. Yeah, it's like somebody is definitely getting ready to come towards you. After moving on and ending something out, you have coffin and then separation. 
So you and that person have been in separation. If you and that person are like destined to come together, you and that person have been in separation um, because they needed to end something out. They needed to make a change transition. Yeah, because it, while they were attached to that person, it had them uneasy, unsure of the future, unsure of whatever it is that they were going to have, you know, to be able to build a stable, found, um, solid foundation for their self. And it had them in the energy of being so sad and just disconnected. So they chose to heal. Healing heart is here. Yeah, free their self from a toxic relationship. You have paradise. And stabbed in the back. So yeah, this is definitely someone that is happy. Um... They're happy that they found out who this person truly was. This person was deceptive. They were shocked to find out that that person was who they were. This person was strong out on drugs, bad, and different things like that because they wore a mask. It's like that person hides under material things. They cover their self up to look a certain way so they don't look like, you know, who they truly are. I'm so done. You have wedding rings. So this is someone, this is, you know, out here twice with wedding men here. That person sees you as their eternal love. Now they know about the soul connection that you and them have and they want to come in union. They're watching you. And as I said, you've inspired this person to make healthy choices. It's like they're in the energy of loving their self, appreciating their self more, taking care of their self, watching you know, what they put in their body, who they just allow around them sexually. And they're more happier. This person is making healthy choices in love and in life. You have the Phoenix. Yeah, and it's like now they want to rekindle something with you. You have definitely helped this person change their mind about something and go through a transformation. They feel renewed. 